Well, well speaking of insurance, uh, you know, I have a series uh, on my YouTube channel called the, the Vlad Stocks uh, series about just investment basics. And my second video was about the importance of health insurance. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's funny how many people kind of scoff at it. They say, eating healthy is better than having health insurance. Shit. <laughs> or like, no, nah, man, you need to, you know, you need to just take certain herbs. You, you know what I mean? No, yeah. there, there's, you know, these African, you know, you know there, there was one dude, uh, Dr. Sebi, I think. You ever heard of him? No. Nah. So Dr. Sebi was from Honduras. Uh -huh. And he claimed that with certain herbs you can cure AIDS, cancer, uh -huh. that type of thing. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? At one point he was sued by, you know, for... You know, because he wasn't a, 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 a real doctor, oh. you know. But certain people, like I think Nipsey Hussle, really subscribe to what he's saying and stuff like that. But a lot of people follow these types of people and don't go to, you know, and think that the American uh, health system is a scam and doctors are scams and pills are scams and stuff like that. And yeah. they don't get health insurance, especially young people. Yeah. What's your take on that? I don't take medicine. You know, um, I always try to find natural things to uh, for anything that's that uh, if I ever if I ever get sick, I always try to find something natural. I don't like taking medicines. I don't take vitamins. I don't believe in a lot of that shit. You know, they said they said it's like, just like you know, like eating healthy. They say uh, when you read the ingredients, if it's something you can't pronounce, you shouldn't put it in your body. <laughs> okay, you know, and I totally. I totally believe in that. You know, uh, right now uh, I don't even eat meat anymore. Yeah. You know, I just stopped eating it. Uh, but um, I just don't. I don't. Um, you gotta have health insurance. I'ma never say don't have health insurance. You gotta have it, man. Cause like I was telling you about my boy said, you know, a lot of dudes they just walk it out, walk it out, <laughs> walk it out, walk it off, rather, walk it off. You know, they get sick. And I'd be like, man, you know, this man, I can't afford to go to the doctor, man. I'm just going to just, just chill. Like, and it's it's terrible. But the doctor bills, man, I'd be looking at some of the doctor bills, like like I was telling you earlier. Because I go to the doctor all the time just to make sure, you know, I'm getting older. So I want to make sure I'm I'm, yeah. um, I'm I'm healthy. Yeah, me too. And i just be looking at some of these bills, and I'd be like, damn, what do people who don't have money like me, what do they do? Like, how can you afford to go to the doctor that much? So yeah. Yeah, you, sometimes you gotta walk it out. You know, it's terrible, but um, you gotta have the health insurance, man. You know, you can't the, the eating healthy uh, ain't gonna do it alone. They ain't gonna do it. It ain't gonna do it alone. Well, an ambulance ride will start at six hundred dollars. Yeah, that's crazy. That's why. That's why I was telling you earlier. A lot of people that I've been talking to that I know, they say they take Uber, <laughs> take Uber to the hospital, man. It's pretty, it actually makes a lot of sense when you think about it. Unless you shot or something, you really got to get your ass up and go. But other than that. A typical hospital stay will cost you about $10,000. That's crazy. And that's, that's the whole thing is that people without health insurance, you say, okay, you're eating healthy, you're doing this, you're exercising. All that's great and you should absolutely do it. Yeah, you got to do that too. But... Have a slip and fall. Get into a car accident. Mm -hmm. Get shot. Get stabbed. Mm -hmm. yeah. Get into a fight. <laughs> and yeah. you know what I mean? Get, Your life get, can change in a heartbeat. It'll change in a heartbeat. And I, I remember, I, I remember uh, my, my friend Gabi, who was the, the president of SRC, told me that. Yeah, I know him. Yep. Of course, yeah. Of yeah, course you know him. Um, he told me, I remember my first day at SRC, he said, man, you know how many people I've seen that spent their whole lives building up money, getting to a comfortable state, and one illness or one bad accident will wipe out their entire savings. Uh-huh. You know, later on in life. Uh-huh. And when I heard that, I said, shit, I'm getting health insurance. Because that, that scared me, because I, I was starting to get make money at that time, and I was, you know, when you're broke, you kind of don't care. Yeah. But once you start getting a little something, you like, shit. And from what I understand- you know, your family. You got to be healthy for the family, because you know, the man is the supporter. Yeah. You gotta be healthy and you gotta make sure you stay because you don't want what you don't want to have. Like my trainer, he called me a hypochondriac, you know, because I'm always <laughs> going to the doctor. If I, I if I have a heartburn too long, I'm going to the doctor. Be right. like, hey man, what the hell's going on right now? You know, and because uh, you don't want you don't want something like that. You know, we had two people in our group pass away. 
You know when uh which when was uh Lord, Lord Infamous, Infamous, Lord Infamous and Cooston, Cooston yeah. nigga, R.P. Lord, R.P. Cooston. Uh, how old were they at the time? Both of them was forty, the exact <laughs> same age. Both of them was exact. Both of them was forty years old when they passed away. Right. And uh, I never forget. Um, Coop was taking some. Um, I don't know what kind of medicine he was taking. He was taking some kind of medicine. Uh, but uh, his uh, one of his girls, one of his friends, rather. Told me when he passed away, she looked in his uh, in his Gucci uh, backpack, and he hadn't even opened the medicine. Like he still had the plastic on. He wanted, you know, he wasn't taking it or whatever. And I was like, damn, you know. So you don't want to get to that point because it's this. This is the thing about health insurance and about being healthy. It costs more if you wait too long before you find out some stuff than it do to just you know to just uh, be healthy um, all the time. And that's why I be trying trying to tell some of the youngsters, you know, a lot of them and they, you know, in they like twenties or teens or whatever, they think that it's it's too early to start being healthy, you know. They think it's more something you start doing when you're in your thirties and forties. And no, that's you know, it's if you don't wait that long, it's probably too late, you know. Coop and Coop and Lord, they was forty. I don't think I I don't think either one of them probably. Ate healthy or ever worked out a day in their in their life, you know, outside yeah. of, outside of maybe gym and school. Was so there's it's something you want to do ahead of time. I mean, any drug use to go along with it? Who? The two of them. Did they did they get high? I mean, yeah. Of course they got high. Right. Yeah, we all the, got high. Well, the harder drugs as well. Huh? The, the harder drugs as well, not just weed. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, yeah. So like, that's another thing too. Like, you know, you're getting high, you're getting drunk, this and that, and. And not being healthy, that's just all that. Cause like when you when you start to get older, your body don't take take uh, anything like it used to. Like you said, a slip and fall, a slip and fall when you in your twenties ain't the same as a slip and fall when you thirties and forties. You might seriously break some shit. <laughs> yeah, you don't heal as quickly. You don't heal as quickly. Yeah, you know your body ain't the same. So you gotta you gotta start being healthy early. You know early. Yeah, man. I mean, I tell people all the time that if it wasn't for like antibiotics, I'd be dead right now. Mm. You know what I mean? Because back yeah. in the day, you catch the flu or pneumonia, yeah. and you, you might die. Yeah, exactly. You know, a Z pack will, will save you these days. Yeah, exactly. You know, I, only t- I only took one like once once before or whatever, but man, it it, it helped. It, it helped. absolutely helps, man. And, and the thing is, is that what I said in this video that I made was that. Now, a lot of people say, I can't afford health insurance. So this is what I want you to do. Out of all of the things in your life that you spend money on last month, clothes, restaurants, clubs, Netflix, Spotify, women, men, just whatever bullshit that you've been buying, add all that up. Now ask if all those things are more important than your health. Ask if your health is less important than those Jordans or going to the club or taking that girl out. Because let me tell you, a lot of this cool stuff that you have, if you don't take care of your health, they're gonna bury you with it. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you another um, another example. What I always tell people, especially us men, you know, it's different for women, but a lot of us spend more time and money making sure our car is in good shape versus we do our actual body. Right, My actual body. You know, the soon as the oh, check in, check engine, uh, check oil, uh, light come on, the internet. You hurry up trying to, you know, trying to get over there. Oh yeah, and get that taken care of. But your your actual body, you'll be like, oh, you don't really even pay no attention to that. Yeah. Well, you know, Warren Buffett, he he had a really interesting analogy. He said, look at it like this. Let's just say when you turn eighteen, you get, you know, you get a car. You could have whatever type of car you want. Uh-huh. You could have a Lamborghini, a Ferrari, a 6'4 Impala, a truck, whatever, whatever the hell you want. You could have one car. But that's the only car you'll ever have for the rest of your life. Uh-huh. Think about how you would treat that car. Uh-huh. Would you not go get, get checkups? If, yeah. Something, yeah, if, if a light sure. star blinking, would you just ignore it? No. Would you not get a car wash? Yeah. Would you not get your tires replaced yeah. when the little when the little light goes on? Uh-huh. Or would you make sure if you knew that you wouldn't get any other car, how would you treat that car? Now think about how you treat your body. Yeah. And it's the exact same thing. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you got to. And when you talk about Shame. insurance, what happens if you get pulled over and you don't have insurance? 
Yeah, you you get a ticket, right? Yeah, it's a, it's illegal in and I think almost all states these yeah, days, right? It's illegal. But yet they require car insurance, but they don't require health insurance. Yeah. Isn't isn't that kind of weird? Yeah, it's crazy. But they don't give a hell about it if you down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Obamacare tried to change that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you know, did. Trump is trying to fuck all that up. Yeah. I'm not sure if he's accomplished it yet, but you know. I, I don't think he has yet. <laughs> I don't think he has yet. But um yeah, they people people take care of their cars more than they do their actual body, and it just it don't make no it don't make no sense. 